Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Wanted to take a few minutes and introduce you to a new product for us. It's the second generation of our Revolt Armored Battery System. The, uh, the Revolt is, is unique. It's a, a 5 amp hour nickel metal hydride battery bank that's contained within a crush proof, waterproof housing with a, an extremely simple interface, a, uh, uh, several different ways to charge the battery, and several different ways to use that energy. It is highly portable. It is extremely tough. It was originally designed for search and rescue squads to be able to maintain the, uh, the charge on their two-way radios and uh, therefore extend the time of their, of their search. Um, since then, it's turned into really more uh, uh, soccer moms and and uh, businessmen and uh, ham radio guys, preppers, people that are camping, boating, folks that want to be able to charge cell phones or radios or run a couple of lights in a camp at night, uh, even run a fan to keep yourself cool if you're camping. Uh, the uh, the Revolt, like I said, is is very portable. This is this is it in the standard pouch that comes with it. The pouch is mil spec. It has a uh, ladder molly uh, uh, front and back to attach it to a pack or to attach things to it. It is it's heavier than you, than it looks, and you'd think it, it's it's several pounds. Now, people that already have a Revolt or have seen the previous generation will immediately recognize some differences. This unit uses aircraft aluminum, a single piece of extruded aluminum for the chassis, and it uses high-density polyethylene for the front and end caps. And that polyethylene is thicker than it appears here. It's actually a full half-inch thick. It's been recessed into the case. During assembly, this is uh, is completely potted. It's it's uh, it's essentially a solid mass inside here. Uh, when we talk about waterproofness, sometimes people wonder about an opening like this for the cigarette socket. Um, that waterproofing occurs inside the case. So while it's true that water can get in here, or for that matter in the charging port, it can't actually get inside the case and do any harm. The uh, interface is real straightforward. You have a single switch that turns the unit on. That switch has got a thick rubber boot on it to waterproof it. You've got a digital voltage display to make sure that your system's charged before you take off. It's got a full-size cigarette socket, and then it has a, a DC barrel plug, which it serves as the charging port. Now, previous versions of the Revolt had a built-in USB. Um, uh, one of the things that is it was a trade-off and an improvement was by eliminating the USB we created enough space to put in the full-size socket. Once we had the full-size socket a person can use an outlet like this, an adapter. This particular one comes with the Revolt. Um, and if you have a specialized device like Apple, some Samsung, some HTC that are real fussy about the charger they use you can get one that works for your equipment, and it'll definitely work. Once you plug it into the, the cigarette outlet on the Revolt. The, uh, the unit comes with a variety of options. Uh, the Revolt by itself, the standard machine, comes with this machine, of course. The Molly pouch, a uh, automatic AC charger, plugs into the wall, it'll charge a revolt from dead to full in, in less than three hours. You can optionally get a DC charger, which is very slick, it plugs into a cigarette lighter, and, uh, and then plugs into the revolt, it'll charge it from like your cigarette lighter. And one thing that's very unusual that we have, uh, and it took some doing, but we've got it, and, uh, and it works beautifully. This is a, a fully automatic solar controller. So you can take this device, plug it directly into a 
power film style solar panel and this plugs directly into the revolt and you can charge your revolt in the field from a solar panel um, as far as capacity you know it, uh, it depends on the phone of course but you can easily charge a smartphone anywhere from 10 to 20 25 times off of a revolt um, devices like tablets charge it once for sure maybe twice um, had a couple of cases people jump starting things like lawn tractors with a, a revolt and as long as the only problem is the battery the machine will probably jump start your car uh, I want to be careful saying that because you're, you're probably going through the cigarette lighter and you can get into to, to fuse issues but um, suffice to say it's a heck of a lot of power in a very small package we have uh, we've got pre-launch pricing going on right now the uh, the first lots of revolts will leave our shop the first of next month so the first of March um, please come to portableuniversalpower.com you can see more info uh, place an order and if you do so you'll see your machine here in just a, a couple of weeks um, again it's the revolt armored battery system only one of its kind on the planet, and you can have yours. Just go to PortableUniversalPower.com and uh, check it out. Again, my name is Bill Harrison. Thanks for your time and attention. We'll talk to you later.